Hi everyone, welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight with Slimming World video. So today is Easter Monday and I've been working and clearing out the garage but I haven't stuck to plan today. I've um, yeah, just been nibbling, been hungry. I've had toast and marmite which was very yummy. I've had crisps um i've kind of stopped counting sins now actually my actual main meals have been good and have been on plan but i just i don't know i'm not in the right headspace at the moment however there was two things i wanted to be honest about on today's um video and the first one is that i don't think being completely vegan is working for me um, I find it difficult in the UK. When I'm in Fuerteventura, I can do it absolutely fine and I feel great on it. But here, I'm not feeling good on it. I'm cold, I'm hungry and I, it's just not working for me. So I think I'm going to go back to doing mainly vegetarian with a few vegan days each week so I'll do like maybe two or three vegan days each week and the rest vegetarian and see how I get on um I don't I didn't kind of want I, f I feel like in a way it's a bit of a backward step but actually I've got to listen to my body and this has happened before that when I'm over there which was two years ago we were there for like six and a half months and I was completely vegan completely plant-based and yeah I did fine I felt really good for it I lost um even more weight actually I think I was about 10 pounds lighter than I am now and when I first came back to the UK I managed to to keep that up and of course I wasn't necessarily following Slimming World only vaguely because obviously um, I was in Fuerteventura and there was no group to go to but I was kind of vaguely following it, eating really really healthily and it really suited me and then this winter as you saw if you're watching my vlogs I was over there again and, and again I was feeling really good on it but here it's just it isn't working at the minute so I'm going to go back to mainly vegetarian and a couple of vegan days and occasionally I might even have some meat or fish and I'll do that for a while and just till I get my head back in it properly um, because I can't go on like this because otherwise I'm worried that I'm going to put on a lot more weight so yeah that's I, I just wanted to be honest with you all and, and explain what's going on for me um, I've got weigh in on Wednesday, so I will go along and see what the damage is. And then I'm, you know, that is drawing a line and getting back right back on it. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I've had a very productive day today. I'm getting my um, Etsy shop back up and running. And I've just actually had just now had an order for two buntings, which is brilliant. Um, and I also had a necklace order today. So I'm really happy about that couple of tea towels yesterday but I need to be putting a bit more energy and effort into it I'm rubbish at updating my um auntie Emma's Devon shop Instagram which is my business Instagram page so tomorrow I'm going to really try and concentrate on that and we also today which was the other thing I wanted to tell you all is we've been clearing out the garage because our house is back on the market so we are trying to sell our house so please send prayers positive vibes whatever you, whatever you believe in whatever you can that our house sells this year we did try to sell it last year but unfortunately when we were having a lot of um interest in it which was later on in the year we had to take it off the market because well, it's really complicated because we obviously we want to move to Fuerteventura, which is Spain. Their tax year is different to ours. And so we don't want to have to pay capital gains tax. And there's also the 90 day rule now with Brexit. So it's mega complicated. I won't bore you with it. But we have got like a there is like a time frame for selling. But we're in a good position at the moment because 
we wouldn't be able to move until I think it's like the middle of October at the absolute earliest. So we've got plenty of time, but I am, you know, going to be doing lots of cleaning and lots of clearing out and sorting out the house. We're going to try and do some bits to the garden and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm trying to be positive, trying to be excited. Um, I've never sold a house before. We did try and sell this house 10 years ago. Um, and just as we got an offer on it, we decided that we would actually come and live in it. So it didn't sell then, um, and obviously it didn't sell last year. So I'm really fingers crossed for this year. Um, I believe that things happen for a reason, and I think it didn't sell last year because I'm still needed here to help my sister. Um, she's, you know, going to be having an operation soon, and we're going to get her all better and I want to help her and that's absolutely fine. So um, again, there's no hurry, but I just thought I'd mention it because it w it does have an effect on my slimming world, on my journey. Because I am such an emotional eater, you know, anything that, well, I think anything that's going on in your life, or for me anyway, anything that's going on in my life will have an effect on my diet. And, you know, if I'm a bit stressed, I eat more. And everybody says selling houses is really stressful. So I'm going to try and not get stressed about it. I'm going to try and enjoy the whole process. It's definitely a lesson for me because you just don't know, do you? You know, you can't plan, you can't make plans, you can't say on this day I'm going to do this because it's going to sell then. You just don't know. So I've got to go with the flow. So that is a big lesson for me because I am a planner. Oh, there's a little fly in here. Um, and I do like to plan. So yeah, it's all, it's good lessons for me. And I'm, and I want to try, go away fly. I want to try not to let anything to do with selling the house affect my diet in a negative way that's what I'm trying to say in a lot God, I've been rambling on for ages so yeah those are the two things that I just wanted to mention tomorrow I'm going to really concentrate on my work and my business so I'm not going to do a video tomorrow I will try to stick to plan and I will definitely do a video after I've been to weigh in on Wednesday and let you know how I've got on it's definitely going to be a gain that's absolutely fine um but then I'm going to be on it so thank you so much everybody for all your lovely comments and all your support I want to know that you're all there for me and thank you for watching this is what I'm eating today it is over sins and I haven't filmed everything but I like to keep this real and show you anyway hope you've all had a lovely Easter and I will see you again on Wednesday bye this is my breakfast today. I've got a portion of the rice pudding that I made. So it's one healthy extra A for the almond milk plus one sin. And then I've added some cinnamon in there. And then I've got plum, pear and apple over the top, which is all speed. And I've got a teaspoon of um, ground flaxseed over it. And I'll put the sins for that on the screen because I'm not sure. Um, I just need to look it up. It smells divine. I'm just working, but I'm going to have a cup of mint tea and one of these Alpen Light Jaffa Cakes bars. Um, I can have two today for my healthy extra B, so I'll have one now and maybe one later if I need it. I've already started eating this before I, I forgot to film, but basically I've got the same thing for lunch that I had for dinner last night. So I've got free potatoes and a free corn fillet thing and speedy swede leeks and cabbage i've got three parsnips somewhere under there and one and a half sims of the morrison's free from chicken gravy this is my dinner i've got one of the morrison's plant pioneer i think it's called um spicy bean burger i've got homemade wedges and some baked beans